These dreams go on when I close my eyes. I don't believe what I just saw. Anybody who's been watching my videos and doesn't believe that the angels are with me, didn't see, didn't watch the World Series last night. Surely I've not watched my videos for the last week. For that matter, for the last year and a half. There'll be no extreme language in this video because I'm hoping this could find its way to Justin. That was the most emotional thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I want to tell you guys, and that's the beauty of social media and YouTube. Proof, 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 proof. Watch my video from a few days ago. Watch my videos, American League and National League versions. Because I've been saying the big orange eight, the comeback. Remember this. They were one strike away from elimination. I put these videos up before. I like to listen to baseball on the radio because I'm a purist. I love Oral Hershey. He was choked up last night. Justin with eight cards. As I walked out between bricks and I said it was eight to nothing in the eighth. Last night, eight. The jig orange, as I've been saying, the eight on its side. I hope this video can find it to Justin. His doctor named Swartz, as my whole thing's been black, Swartz. I've been good at hypothesizing things. As you people that watch me, I'm very good at hypothesizing things. Always have been. But not like this. It's impossible, but are the angels with me? Oh, yeah. As I've been fighting for my life, Justin, like you, exactly a year ago today, I was given two months to live. Twelve different doctors said my only hope was gutting me. Tell me how it alters. Tell me this one over and over and over. Whatever. One doctor. Dr. Hanson stepped in out of nowhere, out of the blue. 70 LDS, critical. I have no hope of living, really. I'm alive. One miracle after another. These little people. I've always loved that song by heart, These Dreams. I had no idea. I've always loved that. That, that video, I remember when it came out, I, I was like moved by it. I had no idea until I got leukemia. She wrote that for her friend who had died of leukemia. I want to tell you guys a story. You cannot make any of this up. The angels are with me. As the spiritual healers organize together all over the world and they set those vibes up to East 8 at the top of LDS. Between two bricks the other night. Wow. Wow. Because I've been writing my book. This is my book. This is my literature. They saved that little boy's life. I go to the same place in the same routine for coffee every day. I walk in, I sit in the same location. I've stuck to my routines. My doctors say, stay on that routine or routine. X amount of coffee, my oatmeal, then my walk, my hike, as you guys know, as I've been so militant, as they say, whatever you're doing, Kevin, keep on doing. As my daughter said, when I got sick, when going through hell, keep going, as Churchill's great quote. After that night between two bricks, 8-8, eight, eight, as I called, and that was the score. 8 nothing in the 8. As I did my big orange 8 video before the fact, the year of the comeback. The year of the comeback. Oh yeah, and them Giants too, as baseball does mirror culture. I walked in there, and I always sit in the same place, but there were some guys rattling off about their neocon politics. I couldn't stand this, so I walked into the back of the corner room. Beautiful, incredible girl sitting there. 38-year-old girl. We just struck up that conversation out of nowhere. She says, the orange man. I says, yeah, I have leukemia. Given two months to live a year ago. Gotten a miracle. She looked at me and says, my five-year-old little girl died of leukemia. That conversation was so spiritual that we had. Because I'm not a very spiritual person, I wasn't. I mean, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. I'm really not. And she says, neither am I. But that little girl got sick when she was two. And she kept a journal. And in that journal, she says, every morning that girl would describe the angels that would come to her. She would describe them in detail. This is a three, four-year-old little girl. 
she says, I was in denial about it, say she, she, she's going to live. As 95% of children are cured of juvenile leukemia. That's how far we've come now. But this girl had a rare form. As my form did tumors, as we have an epidemic on the Wasatch, and I hope researchers can listen to this and know this, as leukemia doesn't ever form in tumors. It doesn't ever happen. That's the bus, the, the misdiagnosis on me. There's two of us in there right now, right now, on the Wasatch. My, one of my very close friends died last year. Had some, told me that he had some cancer down in his right mesentery, and they just kicked the can, kicked the can, and heard back up. I, no, there's no doubt it was leukemia. As it's called a West or Denuvo. She told me, she says, that little girl had a tumor in her brain. I think it's a new cancer. I think it's a new epidemic that's swooping. I think a lot of people dying from it. She described those angels. She says in her journal, she would describe them in detail. I looked at her and I said, there's no coincidence I walked into this room today. As I had been saying for the few days right before, I will stand by you, I will stand by you. And then here she is. She was so emotional. And she told me, looked at me and said, thank you so, so much. This conversation so much for me. As I have photographs, and you can see the light and the angels in the back, she says, people think I'm crazy, and I'm not a religious person. The angels have been with me, and I know that. I know that those spirits. As I say, people that die from cancer, they don't lose, they win. That's what I told her. I truly believe it. That the process of the good fight and going through this cancer fight is such a purification your soul, for your body. Rebooted that, they call it the good fight for a reason, it really is the good fight. I think that the souls become so pure and so clean as their spirits move to the next place. I'm a big believer that life is more than who we are. They don't lose, they win. They win because their spirits are so pure and so clean, especially those little children, those little angels. The most emotional conversation, last night was so emotional, you know, listen, I couldn't believe it. And I got up. I didn't. I had no idea who Justin Miller was. I had no clue who that young boy was. As I've been saying, you cannot make this up. You watched my videos last week, and anybody who watches new to these videos, I use extreme language for a reason. There's a method behind my madness. I don't just go off using that F word over and over just randomly for no reason. I'll tell you what, Justin. Last night, wow, because call. American baseball mirrors American culture to a T. That is a fact, that is an unarguable fact. And he used eight cards, eight, that big orange eight. You could not make this up. Wow. I don't believe what I just saw.